BYD's share price has doubled since I started pleading with people to buy the stock in June and July of this year. Now, why is this happening? Well, one of the reasons is BYD's blade battery. Their technology and their ability to produce everything that goes into their batteries in-house, except of course for the lithium, is what makes them stand above the competition. Hello my friends, welcome to the Electric Viking. Fantastic to see you. Hope you've had an awesome day. Thank you for your support. It means a lot to me, means a lot to my team. And thank you to those of you who have jumped on our Patreon account and become supporters of the channel. Now, I will be offering three levels of membership in addition to Patreon on YouTube. Each level has different benefits. The second level will give you the ability to see videos first, usually a day before everyone else. And we'll give you 30% off our merchandise store. And the third level, Viking VIP, will give you access to two to four videos per week that will be exclusive to members. And it will also give you the other benefits, including seeing videos first, 24 hours before everyone else, plus 50% off the Viking merchandise store, which is already priced very competitively. If you're wondering where that is, well, I'll put a link up in the description very soon. It should be live in about a week. So in the last 24 hours, BYD's stock price has surged over 5% in Shenzhen as it maintains top-selling new energy vehicle brand status in China in September. In fact, it significantly increased sales of electric cars for the company during September amidst an incredible 180% increase year on year over China's electric car sales in the same month last year. So BYD's NEV sales in China reached 70,400, 10,000 more than the month before, 10,000 more than the month before that, 10,000 more than the month before that. It's gone up by 10,000 every month for four straight months. And that is higher than Tesla's 56,000 units according to data released Tuesday by the China Passenger Car Association. Now, to compare like for like, while BYD actually sold more like 34,000 pure electric vehicles, with the rest being plug-ins or hybrids to make up that 70,000 figure. So if we're just comparing purely electric vehicles, then Tesla actually sold more electric vehicles in September in China than BYD. But it's not really a full story because Tesla's sales of electric vehicles in August in China were very small, only around 10,000. Because in that month, Tesla shipped out thousands, tens of thousands of vehicles to Europe, to Australia, to other countries around the world. So it's a bit of a tricky scenario comparing Tesla sales to other companies because they have different reasons for being up and down month to month. Now, BYD's strong sales performance comes at a time when adoption of new energy vehicles in China is accelerating at an incredible pace. Data released by the CAAM on Tuesday showed China's new energy vehicle sales have come to about 20% of all vehicle sales. Now, that was China's goal for 2025. They're four years ahead of their goal. Incredible. I think you'll see another doubling of new energy vehicle sales next year, bringing the total next year to 40%. That's 2022. Imagine where we'll be in 2026. Crazy. This indicates clearly that the NEV adoption curve in China continues to accelerate. It was dramatically different numbers in January this year versus September this year. So estimates right now for battery electric vehicle sales in China are 2.5 million for this year. And three and a half million for next year. Incredible. So what part does BYD play in this whole picture? And where will BYD be in 2030? Well, over the summer, BYD began shipping its vehicles, electric vehicles, to Norway, a country that has experienced rapidly growing demand for battery-powered cars. This is just the beginning. Now, the Chinese manufacturer is able to capitalize on its homegrown battery technology 
that allows for much cheaper production costs than its competitors. That is the key, much cheaper production costs. And it is setting its sights on other global markets as Chinese electric vehicles, EVs, stand poised to potentially dominate the global industry. Potentially, um, I'm understating it. They will dominate the global auto industry. They already are, believe it or not. BYD got its start in the mid-1990s as a lithium battery producer for electronics geared to consumers, and today it harnesses its own battery technology in a line of EVs. It calls its battery pack the Blade Battery, and it is really next level. Not only from the perspective of what it does, its safety, its performance, but also, more importantly than any other, from the perspective of what it costs BYD to build each battery pack. The battery technology that BYD employs utilizes cheaper components than the industry standards of cobalt and nickel, instead building their batteries with much more abundant sources such as iron and lithium. So much easier, the battery supply chain is the key bottleneck for most EV manufacturers. BYD basically eliminate about 80% of the supply chain problems by not using nickel, cobalt, or manganese. Additionally, the design shape of the signature batteries dubbed the blade combined with the materials means that the battery can hold 50% more energy than similarly sized batteries. It's called the blade. It's extremely thin. Guess what? It gives their cars more space inside versus their competitors. Really important. BYD EA1, the Dolphin, their new world hatchback car is technically quite a bit shorter than a Toyota Corolla on the outside, but it's much roomier on the inside. The battery components and reduced costs translate into big savings. BYD is currently offering electric cars for less than the combustion fuel competition. I've been saying this, people are not listening. Invest now in BYD. Who else can do this? Can anyone in Europe do this? Can anyone in America do this? Who can do this? You tell me. Tell me. Do some research. Come back to me and tell me who else can offer their battery electric cars, which are good, at a price lower than ICE vehicles. This marks a major turning point for the industry as costs have been a huge barrier to entry into EV ownership for many consumers. Just imagine when these vehicles are available in your country, which they more than likely will be within the next two years. That's gonna come quicker than you think. It's easier for Chinese EVs to be successful than Chinese internal combustion cars because European and American automakers have a long history in making engines. It's hard for Chinese automakers to catch up overnight in that area. But when it comes to electric cars, in many respects, they've already surpassed the competition in the West. Now, said Jai Shi, an analyst at Haitong International Securities in Hong Kong, EVs are different because they are simpler in terms of their structure and Chinese automakers have better supply chains in terms of batteries and parts. China has come to dominate the battery market for electric vehicles, with BYD being one of the major competitors. BYD is purportedly in talks to supply batteries to Tesla, as well as enter into a joint venture with Toyota. They have a number of other JVs, but ultimately, none of those are as important as what they do in-house, as the fact that they are the most vertically integrated company on the face of the earth that makes electric vehicles. We're just in the early stages of China becoming an export car market. It's scary. Selling cars overseas, especially electric cars, says Sam Jaffa, managing director of Can Energy Research Advisors. And BYD is in an incredibly good position. These batteries bring mass market EVs much closer to fruition more quickly. As soon as BYD can scale up, they are going to take over any market they enter into. The Crane Shares Electric Vehicles and Future Mobility ETF invests in BYD 
and many of the global leaders in the electric vehicle industry, including some in China, where the electric vehicle industry is booming. So you can see that now index funds are starting to pick up shares like Xpeng Neo, but more so BYD. Now I talked about who actually owns BYD's shares in a video a couple of months ago. I think it was one of the videos I've invested more time into than any other, researching who owns BYD shares and why, and the backstory behind them. I'll put a link in the description below to that video. If you haven't seen it, I highly recommend you watch that. I really enjoyed making that one. Now in Australia, BYD has recently begun selling the BYD T3 electric van for 35,000 Australian dollars, or around about 26,000 US dollars, and the BYD E6 medium-sized SUV for 39,990 Australian dollars, or around about 29,000 US dollars. Next will be the Yen Plus, the EA1 Dolphin, and some of the luxury models will follow, such as the Han, the Tang, and the BYD electric pickup truck. The point here is that BYD's electric cars are now going global. The cars are of good enough quality and they are excellently priced. This will lead to an avalanche of global sales for BYD in 2022 and beyond. Like I said, don't make me beg you, invest in BYD now. It is the correct time. Even if their share price has doubled since June, it's actually still not at all-time highs yet. It was higher last year. Makes no sense because their sales this year are so much better. They're more than double what they were last year. Now, if you weren't already aware, BYD intends to take advantage of energy arbitrage in the similar way to Tesla. However, BYD is basically loaning cars to fleets where they will then use those vehicles to plug them into the grid and take advantage of the times when they can sell the energy for more and then bring it out for less. What this means in essence is BYD is becoming an energy market player. I made a video about what they're doing and how they're doing it. I'll put a link to that video in the description below. If you haven't seen it, I recommend you do. It's important. Now there's one key reason why BYD is priced so much lower than Tesla. One key reason. That is their margins. Their 2021 net profit margin is estimated at 2.1%, 2022 at 2.5%, and 2023 at 3%. BYD's low margins partially explain why BYD is so much cheaper than Tesla. However, if BYD can increase margins as they move to selling higher price models overseas, which they're already doing now, that should boost net profits significantly. Now, what are the risks here? Well, Guess what? There's not a lot. You know, BYD sales have dramatically increased this year. In spite of the fact that companies like Toyota, Honda, Ford, GM, their sales have gone down massively. One of the key reasons is because BYD is vertically integrated. They don't rely on other companies for semiconductor chips. They don't rely on other companies for batteries. Pretty much everything that goes into their vehicles is made in-house by them. So, BYD has a fundamental cost advantage because of its blade battery and because of its vertical integration versus its competitors, which is why it owns such a large share of the NEV market in China. I see it holding similar shares of the electric car market and possibly even the plug-in car market globally by 2030, meaning I believe it will be one of the three largest automakers in the world in nine years' time. Hope you've enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for liking. And I look forward to seeing you on the next one. Bye-bye.